Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am about to unwind from my work day. Today was today was a great day. I was extremely busy, but it was a great day overall. I'm actually very excited because I have some new packages. I was gifted a few uh, furniture pieces from Nathan James. Their whole entire line is such a vibe. Y'all know I'm all about like minimal modern looks and Nathan James's products are all in alignment with that clean aesthetic look. So I'm going to be building my furniture pieces this evening and also talking to you about something that has been on my mind about self-care. Not just self-care, but high-level self-care. So sit back, relax, maybe grab a glass of wine and some snacks and enjoy my building process and the self-care message that I have for you today. So just a little background for those of you who are not aware of what I do in my day-to-day -day career. So aside from me being an influencer and content creator, I am a full-time mental health coach that usually coaches anywhere between six to eight people a day. <laughs> yeah, it's very busy. And I coach people anywhere between the topics of managing stress and anxiety, relationship difficulties, adjusting to change, making major life transitions. And what I notice is I find myself talking a lot about self-care. And it's something that a lot of us struggle with. It's not just you, it's not just me, it's a lot of us, it's most of us. And the reason for this is because we're so busy. We have such busy schedules, y'all. Like We do so much in a day and we have to be, um, you know, we have to do all the things for all the people and be these things for certain people. And, you know, we're, we have our plates full. When, and when our plates are full, when do we actually have time to care for ourselves? And very naturally, we tend to prioritize work and family and our partners and our children. But the one thing that we are missing is prioritizing that time for ourselves. And I had a client recently, this is actually a little story time, I had a client recently who told me that she doesn't do self-care because social media makes her feel like she has to um, spend money in order to be a part of her self-care journey. And she really is not in a financial situation to be able to spend. And I immediately began to get frustrated because this is the norm on social media. If you're not walking around with Starbucks or going to Home Goods and spending hundreds of dollars and going to get your hair and nails done, then you know that's self care. That is so far from the truth. That's actually not self care for some people. That's self destruction and self sabotage. So one thing I want to share with you before I go is that self care is subjective. And it really is just depending on what you need, what your need is. And our needs change from day to day and our needs are different from our partners, our families, our children, our friends. So once we start identifying what our need is, maybe it's rest, maybe it's uh, quiet time, maybe it is solitude, or maybe it's socialization or even budgeting. When you identify what your need is, it helps you to be able to provide that for yourself through self-care. And that's what self-care is, y'all. One thing I want to extend to you that I have my clients do, and I do too sometimes, is take stock in the morning. Like really consider what do I have going on in this day? How do I feel? What am I thinking about? What do I actually have the bandwidth for? And when we do this, we set ourselves up for success throughout the day because we're not so easily taking on things that we don't have to have the capacity for. So that is my self-care message. I want y'all to really know that self-care is subjective and we don't have to subscribe to social media misconceptions about self-care. Because remember, self-care is not one size fits all. Self-care is what you need it to be in that exact moment. 